Hi, good morning and welcome back. Happy Wednesday. Welcome to Ms. Jackson's Learning Corner where we talk math. So we've been talking about coins since last week. Today, we're gonna jump into a review for first graders, okay? Let's get started. So we're gonna start with comparing numbers. I'm going to minimize myself so that we can begin. We'll read Monday, then Tuesday, then Wednesday, then Thursday. Remember, this is a review. It says, put the number cards in order from least to greatest. So that means the smallest number to the biggest number. Which one is smallest? Good, 30 is the smallest number. Which number would come next? 32, then 35, then 38. Great. Fill in the missing numbers on the number line. We got 30, blank, 32, 33. Hmm, what comes before 30? and after 30. I know that 31 is in between 30 and 32, so this would be 31. But what about these two? Let's count backwards, 30, 29, 28. 28, 29, and then 31. Put the number cards in order from greatest to least. So that means the biggest number to the smallest number. This one was least to greatest. Now we're doing greatest to least. Which one is the biggest number? We see 100 in all of them. Now let's look at the tens place. I see a one in the tens place, zero, a one in the tens place and zero. Now let's look at the ones place. We have two in the tens place, so let's look at the ones place. There's a one and there's a zero. One is greater than zero, so 111 would be first, then 110, then 101, then 100. Great job. Fill in the missing numbers. Blank, blank, 11, 12, 13. Huh. What comes before 11? 10, and before 10 is nine. Now let's look at this one, 71, 72. What's next? 73, 74, 75. Awesome, so nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, and the second one, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75. Let's look at shapes. Which shape doesn't belong? Which shape doesn't belong? There's something different about one of these shapes. What is it? This shape has four sides. That's a rectangle. This shape has four sides. That's a rectangle. This shape has four sides, but that's a trapezoid. This shape has one, two, three, four, five, six sides. That's a hexagon. So which shape doesn't belong? Three of the shapes are quadrilaterals and the other shape is not. Great job. The hexagon has six sides, so it doesn't belong. The next thing, draw a shape using two triangles. I have to make a new shape using two triangles. One, two, what shape did I make? Awesome, I made a square. Draw a triangle, how many sides and how many points or corners does it have? I'm gonna draw a triangle. Let's count the sides, one, two, Three, three sides. Let's count the corners or the points. One, two, three, three points. Awesome. You and your best friend are going to share a cookie. 
Cut the cookie so you and your friend get equal shares. I have to make sure that we both get the same amount. That's what equal means. I'm gonna split it straight down the middle and we both get a half. Yummy. Let's look at measurement. How many paper clips long is the spoon? Let's count one, two, three, four, five. The spoon is five paper clips long. Circle the longest spoon. Hmm, which one is the longest spoon? This one? No. Hmm, this one? No. Oh, this one is not right. This should say the longest spoon is the middle spoon. This is an error. Sorry, guys. Which spoon is 11 blocks long? Let's count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. The longer spoon, the top spoon, is eleven blocks long. The bigger spoon is eleven blocks long. Order the spoons from longest to shortest. So from longest to shortest, that means the biggest one to the smallest one. Which one is the biggest, the longest spoon? Good, this one is the longest spoon. Then this one's next, and that one is last. Awesome job. Sorry about this, guys. Let's keep going. Time. Remember, when we are looking at time, the little hand represents our hour. The long hand represents our minutes. Remember, the numbers on the clock are for the hours. And when we're counting our minutes, we count the big numbers by fives. So let's start with our hour. Where is it falling at? between that four and that five. Did it get to five yet? Nope, so the hour is four. What do you think the minute is? This is the minute hand. Let's count. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Our time is 4.30. Draw the hands on the clock to show five o'clock. We want to have the hour hand on the five and the minute hand on the 12. That represents five o'clock. What time is it? Hmm, our hour hand is right here. It looks like it's right at that eight. Our minute hand is at the 12, so that means that it's an o'clock. So it must be eight o'clock. Draw the hands on the clock to show 7.30. Hmm, my hour is seven, so it needs to be somewhere by this seven. My minute is 30, so I know that this is 30. Let's see. Good, it's right there in between that seven and that eight. And then our minute hand is on six, so let's make sure. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. We have 7.30 on the clock. Let's look at word problems. The name is Luis. Luis has 18 cookies. He gives five cookies to his friend. How many cookies does he have left? So Luis has 18 cookies. He gives five cookies to his friend. How many cookies does he have left? Let's count them. We can count those by fives because those are like five group rows. Five, 10, then we have three. 10, three is what number? 13, awesome. Let's look at the second one. 
In Jamie's pencil box, she has six pencils, four erasers, and three pens. How many things are in her pencil box? Six pencils, four erasers, and three pens. Hmm, we see that six and four make 10, and 10, three is 13. Jamie has 13 items in her pencil box. Next one. There are eight green gumballs and some blue gumballs in a jar. There are 14 gumballs all together. How many are blue? There are eight green gumballs and some blue gumballs in a jar. There are 14 total. How many of them are blue? Let's count the blue ones. One, two, three, four, five, six. Eight plus six equals 14. There were six blue gumballs. Last one. There are five chocolate chip cookies, eight oatmeal cookies, and seven sugar cookies. How many cookies are there all together? There are five chocolate chip cookies, eight oatmeal cookies, and seven sugar cookies. How many cookies are there all together? Let's count these by fives. Five, 10, 15, 20. There are 20 total cookies. Great job. Now it's your turn. You can fill these out at home. Find the missing number. Eight minus three equals blank. Three plus blank equals eight. 13 minus seven equals blank. Seven plus blank equals 13. 12 minus five equals blank. Five plus blank equals 12. 10 minus six equals blank. Six plus blank equals 10. Wow. Look at all of these problems. They have so many things in common. I want you to talk about it at home. See you tomorrow.